So it's time for our missions moment. Every week we try to highlight something that God is doing in or through our church, whether it's locally or nationally or globally. And this last week, Mike and Maggie got to go to Oslo for the first time, right? Mm -hmm. And I mean, you guys have been in Norway. This is your third trip to Norway with us. But God take a little trip to Oslo and meet with our church planters there. Uh, but first I just want to ask, what did you think of Oslo? I, I got mine, yes. Uh, we loved Oslo. Maggie and I determined that in the two and a half days we were there, we walked somewhere in the area of 20 kilometers. We had lunch with the Luptons. We went to the... Um, upper house. Upper house, and went up on the roof and gawked around and had some conversation, evangelized a couple seagulls. That was a good <laughs> ministry. We then the next day went to Hakkershus and visited the um, Resistance. Resistance Museum, and that was very close to our heart because we've got relatives that were part of the Resistance, and the folks there actually found his name in the registry. And that to us was very moving. Then the next day we did Fram, we did the um, Folk Museum. So in spite of all that white stuff, we came to Norway in April so we wouldn't have to put up with that. But we learned that you had it worse back here anyway so we feel better. And, and before we move off from Oslo though, the next time you come in a couple years you still want to come here, right? We still want to come. In fact, we had a we stopped in one of the shops and got talking, and this guy said, well, you know what? The west of Norway is the real Norway. And I went, okay, that's where we're from. <laughs> no, it's great. I'm glad you guys got to do that. Um, so you guys got to have, I think we got a picture, right? R2? There's oh. a picture of Mike and Maggie having lunch with Andrew and Laura Kate. Um, they're the church planters in Oslo. Uh, how was the connection with them? How are they doing, their family? Yeah, they're doing well. You know, the amazing thing is how small the world really is. Some of you know that on our very first Sunday here in February, we met a young woman uh, out front, uh, named Patricia, whom we hadn't seen in 14 years, but had had dinner at our home in the United States when she was a college student. Well, same kind of connection with Andrew. It only took a moment of conversation, where are you from, where we are from, to find out he grew up in Clyde, North Carolina, 10 minutes from our home. Amazing. And he and Laura Kate are from North Carolina, planning a church there. And they're doing well. We asked them, of course, there's things they missed about Bogota, the hot weather for one. People especially, you always miss the people. That's what we tell people when we come back to Norway so often. It's not because it's beautiful, it is. But the people are more beautiful still. That's why we come back. That's what they miss about Bogota. But what they love about Oslo, it's actually a much safer place for them to raise their children. So. And, and tell about Mike's connection at the, with Andrew's mom. Oh yeah, Mike, is it, we got talking, Mike suddenly, Andrew. He, Andrew pulls out a picture of his mom. And I look at the picture and I go, oh, I know her. <laughs> she works out at the rec center that I work out at. I just didn't know her name. Now, she doesn't know now that I know her, but next time I see her, I'm going to say, hey, Donna, how are you? <laughs> and I'm going to watch her face go, are, are you stalking me? Or something like that. That's great. It's fantastic. All right, last question here. Um, any update on how you feel like the church plant is going, the ministry there? They in their testimony to us is, are thrilled that God has been gracious, that it's only been... 18 yeah, months? Yeah, yeah 18 yeah. months, and they're somewhere in the air, 40 to 50 people regularly. That's a really good thing. And that apparently one of the people asked him, how is it that you progress so quickly? Do you want to know his answer? His answer was, because I know David. And what he meant was that our connection with North Sea Baptist Church means all the world to us and the connections with the people over here. So that we came away very encouraged for you because you have chosen to allow your pastor to have time away to bring in crazy people from the United States. But he then touches base literally all around the world. So that church over there, they may not come to the joint service next week, but they're your family. And wherever David goes, those are your family, and it's because of you. And that's what Andrew and Laura Kate are so thrilled with, that they are not meeting with you regularly, 
but they're connected with you all the time. Well, thank you for that, Mike. Let's just take a moment. Can we pray for them and for the church plant in Oslo and as the music team comes back up? Yeah. Heavenly Father, as we've just talked about, we are not just one family here at North Sea Baptist Church in Stavanger this morning. We are a global community. Even here within this room, we represent so many cultures and nationalities and tribes and tongues, all part of the body of Christ. So Father, as a family today, we pray for our family in Oslo, the church that is still new, just 18 months old, just what we call a toddler church, just learning to walk on its own. And yet it is so connected to us, even as uh, this church has assisted it getting started there. So Father, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray for them physically, emotionally, and spiritually, for their growth, their protection, and their part in building the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.